Hello friends, this is my 7th lecture on signal system series. My name is Nishtha Verma. The topic which I am going to cover in this lecture will be even and odd signal and energy and power signal. Even signal. The condition for even signal is xt should be equal to x minus t. It means if we do a folding operation, the signal should remain same. This can happen if the signal, suppose this is a signal. If we remember for folding operation, we used to put a mirror across y axis. So the mirror image after reflection will be same. So we can say that this is a even signal. In the same way, if my signal is look like this. So in, in this case also we can say that if we take the mirror image this signal will remain same. So this is an even signal. Another example can be cause signal. In cause signal if you remember signal look like this. So if we take the mirror image the signal will remain, say, uh, remain same. So these all are the example of even signal. Now next is odd signal. Odd signal condition is x minus t should be equal to minus xt. So the example can be suppose my signal is look like this. In this case there is a one positive cycle negative cycle. So if we see this part only suppose this is xt and if xt is my this one. So x minus t will be look like this so minus x minus t will be nothing but in this way so we can say that when x t is this x minus x minus t is this so when we if we combine the signal it will be look like this only so we can say that this signal is nothing but a sine wave if it will go up to infinity so sine signal is one of the example for odd signal but the properties of odd signal is at t equal to 0, the odd signal should be 0. So we can see that odd signal, it is a condition that odd signal should be 0 at t equal to 0. And second thing is average or mean value of a signal should be 0. So if we can see that if we, um, because here positive and negative both values are present e in equal amount. So if we sum up these values, so definitely we are going to get 0. So in this way, these two properties are going to be followed. So now general signal, any signal can be represented as a sum of even and odd signal. So we can say that if any signal is given to us, we can bifurcate the signal in even and odd component. So xt, if any general signal is xt, it can be written in the form of even signal plus odd signal. If you put x minus t, so even signal will remain same and the odd signal will come with a negative sign. If we add the two equations, so you will get even signal will be equal to xt plus x minus t by 2. And we, if we subtract the equation, two equations, you will see that odd signal will be equal to x min, x t minus x minus t by 2. So these are the two formulas using which we can, calc we can bifurcate any signal into even and odd component. So suppose when numerical is there and we have to find even an odd component. So xt is given to you t square minus 5t plus 10. So to calculate even signal, we know that even signal is nothing but xt plus x minus t by 2. So xt is given to you. So x minus t will be minus t square minus 5 minus t plus 10. So it will become t square minus minus plus that is 5t plus 10. So for calculating the even signal we have to add this signal with this signal. So while adding so for calculating xt we have to add it t square t square will be 2t square minus 5t plus 5t will cancelled out and 10 plus 10 will be 20 
by 2. So it will become t square plus 10. This is my even part. So for odd part we know the formula. Odd part the formula is xt minus x minus t by 2. So it, we know that xt is t square minus 5t plus 10 minus x minus t is given to you it will come inside the bracket it will be t square plus 5t plus 10 divided by 2 so when you open the bracket you will get t square minus 5t plus 10 minus t square minus 5t minus 10 by 2 so t square t square will be cancelled out 10 10 will be cancelled out minus 5t minus 5t will be minus 10t by 2 so it will become minus 5t so this is my even part and this is my odd part of xt signal now next numerical is xt is equal to u ut and we have to find even and odd part we know that how ut will look like so xt my xt will be unit step so it is like this the magnitude will be 1 starting from 0 and going up to t so this is xt so x minus t will be look like obviously the mirror image x minus t it is 0 it is going up to minus t so this is x minus t so for even signal we know that for even signal it is equal to xt plus x minus t by 2 so if we add these two signal and divided it by 2 so my signal will look like this this is even signal but the magnitude will be because 1 from 0 to plus t the magnitude is 1 here the signal is 0 so 1 by 2 and here in at the negative side the signal is present and this is absent so 1 by 2 so magnitude will be 1 by 2 now for calculating uh, odd signal we know that odd signal formula is xt minus x minus t by 2 so if we take the odd part this signal will look like minus magnitude and it is minus x minus t so when we add this signal with this signal we see that the signal final odd signal will look like here the most important point is the magnitude here because its magnitude is 1 and in this signal the magnitude is missing so 1 by 2 it will be and this signal is at the negative side and here that signal is missing so it will come at the minus 1 by 2 so this is my odd signal and this is my even signal now it is a discrete signal and we have to find even and odd signal for it so it's very simple we know that in the same way as we did for the continuous time signal this for discrete signal the formula will, for even signal will be xn equal to xen equal to xn plus x minus n by 2 so xn is given to you so you can write about x minus n x minus n is nothing but a mirror image so you know that for mirror image the signal present at 0 will remain at the same position and the sig uh, and the values this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is minus 1 minus 2 so 1 2 value will come towards left side and minus 1 minus 2 value will come towards right side so it will become minus 5 minus 4 and this value will become 1 and minus 2 so for even signal we are going to add addition will be take will be done by from position to position so it is 0 it is 1 it is 2 it is minus 1 it is minus 2 the formula sorry it is n 
so formula for even signal is xn plus x minus n by 2 so you are going to add the signal with the signal so at 0 it is 3 value here 0 is 3 value 3 plus 3 is 6 6 divided by 2 will be 3 now minus 5 plus 1 minus 5 plus 1 will be minus 4 minus 4 divided by 2 will be minus 2 4 minus 2 is 2 2 divided by 2 will be 1 here 1 minus 4 is my 1 minus 5 is minus 4 minus 4 divided by 2 will be minus 2 and minus 2 minus 4 will be minus 6 minus 3 why I was dividing by 2 because in formula 1 by 2 is present so this is my even signal similarly for odd signal we know that the formula is xn minus x minus n by 2 so minus x minus n will be look we already have x minus n so minus x um, minus x minus n will be what are the if negative magnitude is there it become positive if positive magnitude is there it become negative so we can write the signal minus 4 become plus 4 minus 5 become plus 5 plus 3 become minus 3 plus 1 become minus 1 and minus 2 become plus 2 and arrow will remain as it is so now we are going to add positive signal with this signal so odd will be equal to minus 3 plus 3 will be 0 minus 5 minus 1 minus 6 minus 6 divided by 2 will be minus 3 4 plus 2 will be 6 6 by 2 will be 3 1 plus 5 will, will be 6 6 divided by 2 will be 3 And this is minus 2 minus 2 plus 4 is 2 2 divided by 2 is 1 so arrow will come here so this is our odd signal we can plot also even plot and odd plot we know that this is origin this will this sample will come at origin this is 1 this is 2 this is minus 1 minus 2 and this is here it is 0 1 2 minus 1 and minus 2 in this way we are we will solve this numerically so now comes on energy signal energy signals are time limited non-periodic signal are energy signal for energy signal the form uh, energy will be finite and power will be zero and the formula for energy signal is this one first of all any signal is given to you you have to identify whether the signal is energy signal or power signal so for energy signal it is said that energy signal should be limited in time limited if any signal is given to you like it is for this much duration only then we can say that this is energy signal this can't be a power signal so and the non periodic periodic signal we have already seen periodic signal which goes up to infinity and keep repeating the same pattern but here what is happening it is present for a particular duration only so it is a energy signal only and the formula is e to the power e is equal to limit t tending to infinity minus infinity to infinity x t square dt now power signal power signal exists over infinite time and periodic signals are power signal but all power signals are not periodic signal power signals are present for infinite time if any signal is there suppose this signal is there it is going up to t so we know that if any signal going up to infinity it will be power signal it can't be energy signal because for energy signal the condition is it should be time limited and here the signal is not time limited so that's why we can say that it is a power signal another thing it is said that periodic signal are power signal but all power signals are not periodic it means if suppose i am having unit step signal it is going up to infinity so obviously it is a power signal but this signal is not periodic signal because the periodic signal was the signal in which particular pattern is repeated again and again after every interval of time so definitely it is period it is power signal but not periodic 
for power signal power will be finite but energy will be infinite the formula for power signal is p is equal to limit t tending to infinity 1 by 2 t minus uh, minus t to plus t x t square dt we will see few numericals suppose this numerical is given to you first of all when we see the equation we have to know which signal it is so how you plot a u t a u t is the magnitude is a and ut will be look like this it start from zero it go up to infinity this is your xt so you can say that it is going up to infinity so definitely this signal is a power signal this can't be a energy signal so power signal formula is limit t tending to infinity 1 by 2t minus infinity to infinity xt square dt so here limit t tending to infinity 1 by 2t because limits are minus infinity to infinity but our unit step signal present from 0 to t so the limits will change over here it will be from 0 to t and signal is a ut ut is used for limits which we have already changed so now a square dt so it will become limit t tending to infinity a, is a, a square is a constant we can take it out and when 1 will be integrated you will get t and the limit will be 0 to capital T. So here it will become limit t tending to infinity a square by 2t when we put upper limit minus lower limit it will become it will come only capital T t t will be cancelled out and you will get a square by 2 because it is power signal so the unit will be watts now next numerical is xt e minus 3t ut first of all we have to identify whether the signal is energy signal or power signal when we plot this signal the plot of this graph will be look like this with t tending to infinity it becomes zero so definitely we can say that it is time limited so this is energy signal so energy signal formula we know that energy signal is nothing but limit t tending to infinity minus t to t xt square dt so limit t tending to infinity because it is ut is present over here the limits will be 0 to t e minus 3t square will become e to the power minus 60 dt so it will become limit t tending to infinity e minus 60 when we integrate it become minus 6 it will be from 0 to t so when we put the limits it will become limit t tending to infinity minus 1 by 6 we can take common and it will become e minus 6 capital t when we put the limit minus 1 because e to the power 0 is 1 so now when we put the limit it become 1 by 6 e minus infinity will be 0 minus 1 so when we multiply it we will get 1 by 6 only and the, because it is energy signal that's why the unit will be joule Now this numerical is, as you see the numerical, xt is equal to 5t five, five and the time limit is given to you. Time limit is given to you, it means that it is an energy signal, it can't be power signal. So same, energy signal is limit t tending to infinity minus t to t xt square dt. So here limit t tending to infinity the limits will be from minus 10 to plus 10 and the signal is 5t so 5t square will be 25 t square dt so limit t tending to infinity 25 we will take it out and when we integrate t square it will become t cube by 3 and the limit we have to put minus 10 to 10 
So now the signal will become limit t tending to infinity 25 3 we can take it out it become t cube means 10 cube will be 1000 minus when minus 10 cube will be minus 1000 only when we open the bracket 25 by 3 it will be multiplied to 2000 it become when we multiplied it by 25 it become 50 thousand divided by 3 and the unit will be joules because it is an energy signal so now this was all about for this lecture and the topic which i'm going to cover in next lecture will be the gate numericals based on classification of signal thank you